This guy sucks at blocking people. He tried to block me and he just turned his phone into a listening device. The rest of today's show is just going to be the this guy and his wife show. Here, let me try and get his attention. She had blue gum. What are they talking about? He thinks he blocked me, but he actually called me. And now he's having a conversation with a lady about the whole thing, but somehow he doesn't hear me. I'll start asking if he's fucking brain with up the battery acid. <laughs> yeah, you got me good there. That whole battery acid comment, I felt burn on that one. He can't use that phone number to call here, but he probably, he'll probably find another phone to call me. Yeah, I'm right, I will. I'm typing it in right now. My new phone number. Can you hear me, sir? Just a simple thing, trying to sell a vehicle. And you got to, you got a fucking, I can't say he's retarded. <laughs> you just did, sir. I know, man. It's just, you know, just have a tattoo on the forehead, dumbass. Says the guy who turned his phone Hi, I'm a dumbass. into a listening device. Clarify it before you talk to me. While trying to block me. Hey, Snowplow Show listeners. This is the Snowplow Show, episode 831. It's sponsored by Matt Chu, Half Alpha, Christine Brennan, and ZTK. That intro song you just heard, that was by Vista Blue. Hopefully you guys remember the guy that sucked at blocking me. I barely do, but thank you, Vista Blue. Also, Vista Blue, they released an album recently with that song on it and that Holy Crap song. Holy Crap! Holy Crap! You, you remember that one, right? And then the You Did Not Flush a Christmas Tree track. I chopped it up into pieces. I didn't do it all at once. I'm not stupid. Are you serious? I flushed the toilet and it overflowed. You know that song. So if you're interested in a digital album with really cool Nick Caesar artwork on it and three Vista Blue songs, you can get that at radiantradish.bandcamp.com. And if you look at their other releases, they have this other album that is a bunch of intro songs for the Snowplow Show, which I'm pretty sure you can still get on vinyl and CD if you want. Wow, how did this intro turn into a big advertisement for Vista Blue? I need to shut up and play the prank. So this is audio from the live show that I did on Friday morning or afternoon, depending on where you live. I was on the air for about two and a half hours, and this is the hour that I could salvage from that. And if you'd like to be notified of live shows that I do, I usually try to post on Twitter whenever I go live, X Twitter. But also you should sign up for a prank cast account over at prankcast.com. They will send you a text or an email or whatever whenever a live show starts. Anyway, here it is. Here is the live show from Friday. Um, so I have a silent auction list, everybody. Isn't that exciting? It's, uh, I thought, wait, don't I have another silent auction list I haven't finished up yet? I think I do. Maybe I'll do that one too. Anyway, hey, everybody. Thanks for showing up, being in the chat room. It's a make a wish silent auction. And um, apparently they do, they do these at Best Buy. I go to Best Buy every once in a while. I've never seen this kind of stuff. It's a little weird. Uh, this is those auctions where they they choose the amount that you're going to bid. Like this first one, it starts out at 250. The next one's at 260. The next one's at 270. And then it goes all the way up to 350. And then to the bottom, it says uh, for 360, scan this qr code and buy it now so i think these are like pretty misleading as auctions because they're not auctions it's it's just sales there is no auction uh there is enough for everybody they've got like you know dozens and dozens of each item so everybody that bids wins so there's actually no bidding the price just goes up by ten dollars each time someone makes a purchase and it's a good cause it's make a wish but come on make a wish why are you being all scammy with your auction forms. This is exactly how it was at that uh, aquarium auction thing we were doing. And I think that was Make-A-Wish too. I don't like Make-A-Wish, except when King Richard does Make-A-Wish. Uh, okay, did I set my caller ID? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So why am I talking? I could be making calls right now. Uh, this first item is a Devo Samuel signed custom unframed white jersey. So we're gonna try and talk to Kevin. It says it's connected. Hello? Your call has been for- Man. Oh, nice. I pulled up my list so I can steal ideas from the chat room. There's already a bunch of ideas from the uh, 
the aquarium auction. So I could just take those. There's only four on this list for the Debo Samuel. Does anybody know who Debo Samuel is? Hello? Hey, listen here, buddy. Is this this is uh, Steve Dave over at the Best Buy. You entered this uh, silent auction. Is this Eric? Uh, I think you got the wrong number. Oh, I don't think so, because your phone number's on here. 209. Well, oh. I shouldn't say it. What? You you did a silent auction here. You uh, signed up for a, a jersey for a Debo. Uh, that that wasn't me. Uh, well, it has your phone number. Uh, is this is your name Eric? Yeah, it is. But I never signed up for uh, nothing like that. Oh, I don't know. Somebody are you must have put are my you just name. are you just trying to get out of the two hundred and seventy dollars? What you can't afford it? Nah, I didn't even do that. Are you sure? Because uh, it looks like your yeah. handwriting. It's got your uh, it it's got your G- Gmail address on it. Murr little 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 you know what? You're kind of a motherfucker. Okay. Uh, I was trying to go back and get Perot's idea because I like that one. I'm going to use that on somebody else. I found it. The Baltimore Ravens. I don't know who that is. Is that like something really laughable? So I can cross that one out. Oh, how am I supposed to read that? It's either a zero or a one. Probably this is going to be wrong. Hi, this is Greg. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks. Bye. Well, Greg wasn't his name. So, that's got to be a zero. Oh, I think he was trying to put a slash through a zero, and he made it look stupid. I can't come to the phone right now, so if you leave your name in it... That's not it either. What the hell? I think the guy had a stroke while he wrote the last number, so I'll just cross that one out, I guess. I guess we'll go to page two. Page two is a Trent Williams signed, custom, unframed, red drop shadow jersey. Ah, and this... Oh, man... Hold on, I think, oh yeah, Bill's on this one too. But we didn't reach Bill, so I'll just call him again. Why are you complicating things, Bill? Ghoul says that you must uh, fulfill a dying kid's wish. Didn't you read the fine print? And I can ask him if they've done that yet, and which wish did they fulfill? It's a great idea. People do not have good handwriting at Best Buy compared to the aquarium. Hello. Hey, I do not know what your name is because you have terrible handwriting. Oh, wait, is it Leo? Hey, Leo, it's it's uh, Steve Day from Best Buy. You were in here and you did our silent auction. Leo? Leo, I hear you breathing still. So, you, like, why are you not talking? Can I help you, sir? Oh, okay, there you are. That was weird. Like, you just got totally silent. Got creepy. Uh, I was talking about your silent auction. Which one would this be? Uh, You bid on a Trent Williams signed custom unframed red drop shadow jersey. Oh, I believe my son did that. Okay. Um, You put your name on it, though? He did. He did? Yeah, and I already spoke to him about it. Oh, okay. Uh, there's, um, th- we ran out of the, the Trent Williams though. We're going to be sending them a Baltimore Ravens, uh, Roy Gerbel, num- number 71. Okay. So yeah, that's almost as good, right? He probably likes the Boston Ravens. Um, I don't know if it's the Boston Ravens. I believe it's the Baltimore Ravens, but it's, oh okay. yeah, Baltimore, whatever. Right, that's close enough, right? But all right. Uh, as I mentioned, my son kind of filled that out without my knowledge if I didn't clarify that. And I spoke oh to him about it in doing so. Yeah, I would hit so him. That's why, like, I you, that, so that's why I think you said the handwriting being a little messy. Yeah, he, he uh, put, this, this is like 200. Falls in line with you know, some, some, some doing that. Yeah, he, he wrote, this is like a bid for $215. Oh, that's fine. He has other jerseys in the house that are working more than that. Oh, okay. So you don't care. And we just finished going to the last Niner game that just happened this last weekend here in the Bay Area. Have you ever thought about having your son... 
Like, but we're going like, to try and get to a Boston Raven game pretty soon, though. Oh, so good. I appreciate you. All yeah. right, sir. What about Baltimore Ravens, though? Are you going to do that one? No, I don't like Baltimore. I like, I like, I like the, the Boston one. How come your son's handwriting out. looks so horrible? Is that, are you pretending it's your son yeah. because the handwriting is so bad? So guess what, sir? I appreciate you, but I'll, I'll go cheer for Baltimore. What was your name again? So I can hold the sign. Listen, listen he, he didn't even you. finish the email address. He's just like, Leo, can blah, blah, you? at Gmail. So can I get that? What? What's your name again? Uh, Steve, I'm your name. I'm, I'm going to put calm, on the sign. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Calm like down, Leo. This, calm down, Leo. Like Leo. sent us to a Bolton Ravens game. A Bolton? So, where's, yeah. the, where's Bolton located? What state I, is I that? I have no clue, man. It's, it's, okay. it's just following your lead. Yeah. <laughs> You're, you're the <laughs> one serving up this drink. It ain't me. Yeah. I don't really so though. You just take again. your son. I'm sorry, I it. Get, name get again? your son some handwriting again, lessons. Listen, the name again. You're not going to give it? No? You'll be a little no, I did. I did several times. No, no listen to me. Time, so I can be clear. First Steve name? Dave. Steve Dave. Steve, Steve Day? Dave. Listen Day. here, Mr. Sassy Is Pants. Steve Day or Ski Day? Is it the, Skeet? Team Skeet? Can yeah, I have to go Skeet? Skeet Dave. Skeet Day. How about we do Skeet D? So we can get on the sign and it says Skeet sucks D. That's you. Yeah, uh, I do. You I suck neighbor. so much D. You would not believe how much D I suck. All right. Was that really an adult? I think that was the kid that signs his dad up for $215 items. And he just doesn't care. He got me good. I lost that prank call. Sorry, everybody. I hate I hate that you all had to see me get burned like that. <laughs> Tim Riggy says I use the jersey to wash a horse. Hey, Tim Riggy, I mailed you an album uh, like two days ago. I bet you'll have it in another one or two days. Hello? Hi, Ronnie? Yeah. Hey there, it's Steve Day from Best Buy. Uh, you signed up for our auction here, our Make-A-Wish auction. I did. For the George Kittle signed San Francisco 49ers speed rep helmet. Yeah, yeah, I received it. Oh, you got it already? Yes, did, I did. Did you notice we painted over it? Like you I did. You can't tell, right? Because it's... I mean, I could tell on one of the sides there was nicks on it. Yeah, and if you keep chipping away at all that paint, you're going to see that it was originally a uh, Baltimore Ravens helmet. No. That's okay, right? I forget which player. I think it's Roy something. Roy something? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know my sports. Yeah. I mean, would it be possible to have another one sent? No. That, that has a chip? Well, I like, how bad is the chip? Can you just take some model paint and paint over it? I mean, I guess. It was a gift to somebody. I mean, I wasn't going to complain about it at all. Well, they're not going to, like, you know, if if they complain about your gift, then they're a shitty person. Right? Yeah. Yeah, no, the only reason I did it was because uh make a wish. Yeah, it's Besides, a good it's a good cause. I don't care about the even though they yeah. even though make a wish they call it an auction but it's not an auction. Cuz you know like No, I'm buying it. Yeah, yeah, see. <laughs> I could I could get it cheaper online. It, it's like a, a but, weird weird version of a supermarket where oh, prices yeah, yeah. go up as oh. demand goes up. I don't know. Oh, do that because I can get the helmet on the NFL website for like one eighty. Yeah, signed as well. We got you good, so, didn't we? We really got you good. No, nah, it was for the the wish. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, after all the uh, the corporate people at Make a Wish get their uh, bonuses and stuff, there'll Holy be a, shit. there'll be a little bit left over <laughs> for little Tommy. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? I regret jumping. I have no idea, but. Hey, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not worried about it, man. You have exceptional handwriting, but you stole so. you stole our pin. I stole a pin. Yeah, like the auction pin. You you just walked up here and signed your stuff, and uh, you just kept our pin. You took it home. I don't believe I did. Marky Valentine. No, no, you did. It, it's one of those nice pilot pins. It's got. Like a really thin, like point point oh one uh, thinness. No, yeah, I. Uh, it was attached to the board. I put it back. Oh, I don't know about that. I I'm, take it. I'm pretty sure you took the pin. Oh man, I I would if I could, cause I'm a pin thief. But it was attached. Yeah, but you unattached it. 
I would not do that. Did you know you can ride upside yeah. down with it? I did not. Yeah, yeah. Try it. Try it real quick. If, since if you... You, I can't do it because I don't have the pin. Oh, I know the pin's there. You, you don't have to lie to me. I swear on my life, on my children's life. I got pins, but they come from my work. How many children do you have? I got four. Four children, and you're going to risk the lives of your four children just for a just for a pin that because writes upside I'm down? I'm that confident. I know for a fact. You pull up camera footage of me taking that pin. Oh, we and did. And would I be shot? We did, and we, we know you're, you're not just a pin it. thief. You're a lying pin thief. <laughs> Dude, I want to see this footage. Oh, we don't, we don't let uh, thieves into our security room unless we're busting them for <laughs> shoplifting. <laughs> oh, man, that pin's not worth over a thousand, so you're not going to get far. That's true. Yeah. Uh, well, enjoy your uh, knockoff helmet that was rep uh, obviously repainted over. It used to be the Boston Ravens. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens, yeah. not the Boston Ravens. Yeah. No worries. I've been watching a lot of Ted lately. Keep seeing Boston. I don't, I haven't watched, I don't watch TV. Yeah. You just read books, right? All right. I don't read books either. I work, work, sleep, work. Where'd you get? Where'd you find time to, uh, to just you know work on your handwriting? Because you have just uh, beautiful handwriting. It makes me want to kiss you. I, who the fuck is this? No, I'm just saying. Like a lot of the handwriting on these lists are are bullshit. It's like little kids are filling these things out. But you know, you come along and you have nice handwriting, and I just want to kiss you on the mouth. I I don't have nice handwriting. Oh no, you do. Like don't don't let anyone tell you you don't. It looks perfectly fine it's and legible that's the important thing it's very legible it's legible i'll give it that but perfect absolutely not uh, if you ever come in here and ask for steve dave i'm gonna kiss you on the mouth who's steve dave that's me that's you yes so where do you work again best buy best buy well steve dave i never went to best buy and got a helmet i know we mailed it to you yeah, I didn't even order it from Best Buy, or I, I didn't get it. Yeah, we don't sell them. It's make a wish. It's the auction sheet. What are you from where? What are you stupid or something? Where did I do this auction at? Uh, at Best Buy. You did the make a wish auction. I didn't do no auction at Best Buy. Bullshit! You didn't, because we have your uh, beautiful handwriting right here. I did no auction at Best Buy. I assure you. It's legible and has a nice curve to it. It wasn't Best Buy. Where was it? It starts with a B, but it's not Best Buy. Are you serious? Here, let me look at this. That can't be right. I know it was Best Actually, Buy. Actually, it starts with a D. My apologies. Oh, shit. Is it Dave and Buster's? Is that it is? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I got to change my well, caller, caller ID. Fuck. Nah, you good, man. I'm not, I'm not sweating it. Okay. You can have all my information. Oh, I, I have all your information. Yeah, you're, you're all good, man. Hey, but it was nice talking to you. I got to get back to work. Hey. I appreciate the call. <laughs> if you ever come into Dave and Buster's, uh, ask for Steve Dave. I'm going to kiss you on the mouth. You work there, too? Yeah. That's my I'll be there today. E evening job. Okay, I'll see you then. All right. You have a great day, Steve. You, too. I love you. Bye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Man, you guys, guess what? It turns out, oh, it's not at a Best Buy. That's why I've never seen a silent auction at my Best Buy. Because they don't do them there. They do them at Dave and Buster's. Yeah, he was fun, but you know what? I don't want people being fun. I want people being angry. And give me a second. I gotta type in Dave and Buster's. Oh, God, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, like, I was using the phone number of uh, Best Buy in that area. And it turns out I should have been using Dave and Buster's. Oops. Shut up, whoever said st that's a total stoner move. Just shut up. All right. It's time for the show to start for real. Well, let's get going here. Uh, Eric. Did we talk to Eric? I kind of think we did on a different auction. And then I'm, I'm sure we talked to uh, Scott. He's the last person on this list that I'm on right now. But I'm just going to call up Eric anyway since I can't remember what happened. 
Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice okay, message so system. Eric's not picking up. <laughs> so uh, I called Scott before and uh, made fun of his dot biz email address. I should be Carol. Oh, this is Scott. Hey, Scott. This is Carol from the Dave and Busters. Uh, you filled hey, how out, you doing? You filled out our silent auction bid sheet for Make-A-Wish. Yep. Yep. And it's for George Kittle, signed San Francisco. I already paid for it and I already had it delivered. Hey, don't yell at me, Scott. I'm, I'm getting at something else here. You stole our pin. And we want our pin back. What? You stole our pin. You filled out the sheet. And you used your uh, horrible handwriting on our sheet. Barely even read it. And then you stole our pin. <laughs> All right, he's gone. Fuck. But, you know, we'd already talked to him, so what would have been the point? Yeah, I know, Katie Cat. They just rotate the bid sheets and mail out from their supply. They make it seem like a, like a very rare item. You're not going to get this anywhere else. I'd be okay with it if they didn't call it an auction. All right, so the Dark Knight, <laughs> what can I say they're getting instead? We, we ran out of Dark Knight in our supplies, so we're going to get you a chairman of the board with Carrot Top. No, what's what's something like more mainstream that it could be? <laughs> How about Transformers with Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf's signature. And uh, these are fake names anyway. Like, I, Are these kids or something? It's like uh, Bella is one of them. And then the next one is Shell. Bella and Shell. Andy Dick's signature on what? Oh, oh, I know. The Inspector Gadget movie. <laughs> That's going to be it. <laughs> Andy Dick. But they probably received this already because, uh, I don't know, that other person had. There's no dates on these. Uh, it was sent to me nine days ago. That's the only thing I can think of that Andy Dick was ever in. Is that Inspector Gadget movie. I could say Heath Ledger decided to pull out of the auction. Please leave your message for 510. Come on, Bella. Bella was born in 2009. She uh, geniusly put her entire birthday in her email address. Hello? Hey, it's Steve Dave from Dave and Busters. You did this uh, silent auction for the Dark Knight laser engraved display? Um... Yeah, for $175. Were you just kidding around when you filled that out? Um, my name is not Bella. Oh, what is it? Uh, Delma. Delma? That's yeah. equally weird. Is your birthday, uh... Oh, wait, what's your birthday? Uh, my birthday is June 5th. <laughs> uh, is it 09? Uh, no. Oh, weird. Okay, I th I was just telling all my listeners how stupid you were for putting your birthday in your email address, but then I suddenly yeah. realized that's not a birthday, because there's not 77 days in the month. Duh, Brad. Mm -hmm. I mean, Steve, Dave. But yeah, you need to pay this $175 for this uh, Make-A-Wish that you signed up for, otherwise some kid's going to die without their wish. Uh... You knew it was I... the real Make-A-Wish, right? We were not just like a pretend David Buster's Make-A-Wish? Yeah, but I don't... I haven't been to Modesto. Uh -huh. Like, I live in the Bay Area. Yeah, but like, did somebody else put your name on this list? Cause it... Uh, no, not that I know of. Oh, okay. So that was you. You were here in Modesto. Uh, this oh, what? Ki this kid, uh, the Make-A-Wish kid... That your uh, auction item is benefiting. Uh, we did mm -hmm. some DNA testing, and it turns out it's your kid. You're, you're, uh -oh. the, you're the mother. I am? Yeah, plus late fees. Uh. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're so good at conversation. I'm sure enjoying this. Uh. Maybe... Uh, somebody I know did it? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Well, it's your name, so pony up that $175, lady. Is it, like, just my phone number, or what is it? Well, it's your phone number, your email address that has your birthday in it, and your first uh, name, Bella. What's the email? 
Uh, it's, well, I don't want to say because we're on the air, but it's, a, it's an iCloud.com email address, which makes me uh, very judgmental of you. I have Gmail. Ah, shit. This must be a prank. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and send collections after you, though, since this is your child. <sighs> were you named after Twilight? No. Thank God. Well, then what were you named after? Is that a family name? Uh, my mother. Your mom's name was Bella? No, her name is Delma. Wait, so you're Delma Jr.? <laughs> kind of. The third. Oh, this could... You know what? You have sloppy handwriting. I think this is, is looks like B... Is it B-E-L-M-A? Delma? I don't know. You're the one with the weird name. Listen, uh, Delma, or whatever your name was, uh, uh-huh. we have this very strict no motherfucker policy here at Dave and Buster's, and you're being a real motherfucker. I do not put my information on there. Yeah, but you're being such a motherfucker about it. It's not my phone number, or I haven't even been to Modesto. Wait, I, I reached the wrong phone number? Probably. No, it sounds like it's you. Well, I haven't been to Modesto or Dave and Buster's. Well, you need to tell your friends to stop fucking around, or we're gonna we're gonna do something about it. <laughs> like you know, legally, not no, we're not gonna hunt them down and beat them up or anything. Mm. That's silly. Come on. Uh, <laughs> There's no room for fun and games at Dave and Buster's, ma'am. They put a 510 number on there? Yeah. And hmm. they put a little slash to their zero, which I think slash. is gay. <laughs> Somebody's... Through all their zeros. Hello? Hi. Still there? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> what's, what's happening next? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Who, who's that in the background? Oh, it's just me. Oh, I thought Sorry. I heard somebody else. No. Well, I think I need to get going. I I got I got shit to do. So do I. Who is that? <laughs> Ma'am? Hello? I'm hanging up the telephone. Okay. Is this your uh, mobile phone or is this your, your landline? Why, man? Why? Yeah. Oh, I was curious. You sounded too young to have a landline. I'm 17. Yeah, that's... Yeah. You wouldn't have a landline. That'd be silly. So why do you have a landline here? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Are you, are you, um, did you just wake up? No. Are you really high? No. Is that why you don't remember coming to, uh, Dave and Buster's? I did not. Okay. Well, we're going to, we got your, um, picture from when you came into Dave and Buster's and we're going to. We're going to, like, train our AI cameras to alert us when you come back so we can hound you about this $175. Okay. I do not know there's a Dave & Buster's uh, in the 209, though. Okay. You know, we use the uh, the laser engraved display for the Dark Knight to uh, mm-hmm. wash, wash a horse with. So yeah. if, if you paid for it, you would have gotten, like, a really smelly plaque. That sucks. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. People are just talking to me. They're not they're not getting upset and they're underage. Uh I put anyway, uh name is CBU Auctions.
Your call has been even in their company to an name. automatic voice message. The word auctions. This company is full of shit. I wonder if they have like an explanation on their website. Like, look guys, we know it's not an auction, but it's for a good cause. It's okay to be misleading as long as it's for a good cause. Your call has been forwarded. All right. That's the end of that list. I'm tired of doing a show already after all this. I'm just going to quit. It's over. I'm kidding. I've got one more auction sheet. You know what makes this the most misleading? Is the scan the QR code to buy it now. $460. Because that makes it seem like... You're, you know, you might not win the, get the winning bid unless you do this final price that's the most money. It's a bunch of bullshit. Oh, shit. We got a bid by uh, Mike Hunt. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The I'm starting to think that people that go to Dave & Buster's aren't very serious people. It's a bunch of fake bids. Hello? Hey, Roger. Hello? Roger, can you hear me? Roger! I can't. Sorry, music. What? Oh, there's music. That's right. Silly me. Hold on. Let me turn off that music. Okay, Roger! Uh huh. It's because I was trying to uh, amplify the sound of my Pepsi. That's why there was <laughs> music. Uh, th this is Steve <laughs> Dave from the Dave and Busters. Uh -huh. You were here uh, like a week or so ago, uh -huh. and you broke one of our video games. I didn't even play video games. I know, but you broke one. You probably didn't. Really? You probably didn't play any video games because you're just busy going around breaking them. Yeah, yeah. No. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, um, you signed up for this uh, this uh, silent auction thing, this Make a Wish. Uh huh. Where you're going to get the Devontae Adams signed Las Vegas Raiders speed rep helmet? Yeah, I already got it. I know. Did you um, did you try peeling the paint on the edge of it? Because they were wanting to make sure that you didn't find out that it's actually a Baltimore Ravens jersey, or a helmet. <laughs> I won't peel it then. Okay, yeah, don't, don't take your fingernail and start chipping away at the paint. Nothing good will come of that. You know? Yeah. No. Good. Good. I'll keep it the way it looks. All right. Um, we're gonna need you to come in and pay for this game. You broke the screen on it. It's just four hundred and fifty dollars. It's not much more than the auction, really. <laughs> Get in here. Yeah, and... if I would have played it. Yeah, you didn't play it though. You just broke it. You just came in and broke it. Yeah. Is that why you didn't play any games? You thought that'd be your defense? Like, oh, I didn't play yeah. any games, so couldn't have been me. All I did was eat and drink. <laughs> were you wearing Were you wearing butt pads? Cause butt pads. Butt pads, because uh, you know your cakes are unreal. <laughs> Is that a yes? No. No. Oh. No. No butt pads. Oh, nice. If you come in here again, I'm gonna grab that butt of yours. Anyway, uh, someone came in here and they had a higher bid than you, and it turns out you didn't win it after all. So you're gonna need to send that back. Well, was Devonte Adams' head inside the helmet? Still? Nope. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay. You broke the DDR machine with your tap shoes. Okay. What is all that noise? Well, I'm at lunch. Um, oh, can you put one of them on the phone for me? Who? Cool. Any of them. Like, is it, it's an employee, right? No. Oh. Oh, so, you're, you're serving the lunch? Um, um, so, is there anything I really can help you with? Uh, no, no, I'm just making prank calls today. That's all. All right. All right. I love you. Bye. Right. Bye. Sorry, I got bored with that one.
uh mike hunt shit like i feel like i'm just done with auctions now i i can call mike hunt it's probably a fake number this will be the one that works out really well i'm sure of it oh except oh wait i think that's a four your call has been forwarded right. to an automated voice messaging system two um yeah so let me throw that away what's next i have uh from jim Barand. He says, I have 100 phone numbers for you. And he's got a big Excel sheet of 100 phone numbers. And it's, um, oh, it's just people. It's just people at their houses. That could be fun. And uh, I also have another thing from Jim Around um, that's in progress. What did he send me before? Oh, mostly classified ads. So do we, do we want to do classified ads? Or do we want to just call people in a neighborhood? Or uh kyle h i still have a bunch of kyle h's numbers uh mostly businesses i think there's some classified ads oh yeah tim riggy i want to do that call people and accuse them of being disagreeable oh brad's gotta go brad you only got to hear the shitty part of the show the next part's gonna be the good part of the show it's okay though go get to work um okay i I think i'm gonna do the first one that i found which is the uh Big old list of just uh, random people in random states. Hello. Hi, Ronald. Yes. Hey, uh, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. Do what now? Uh, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. I live around the corner. You know? Roy. Yeah, Roy Zerbel. Um. I don't guess I know you. <laughs> oh, well, do you know Steve down the road? Rory? Yeah, no, Roy. R O Y. Okay. I ain't British. Where do you live? Uh, well, I'm I'm on Broadway Street, but just you know, down a couple blocks. Okay. What do you need? Uh, I was wondering if you could just please stop being so disagreeable all the time. Well, what the hell you're talking about? Oh yes, you do. You're just always being disagreeable, and I mean that's. Like, you know, it's okay to be disagreeable sometimes when it's called for, but you're just disagreeable all the time about every little thing. Can you please stop being so disagreeable? I don't have a clue what you're talking about, though. Um, are you denying that you're being disagreeable? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Tim Riggy, he didn't fall for it. Last number, Carolyn. Oh, wait, no, no, I got to call one more after this because his name is Ricky Gooch. What did she say? She said something and hung up. Fucking Caroline. Hold on. Nah, she just picks up and hangs up. All right, Ricky Gooch. We're going to call Ricky Gooch. F in reality, you are very pretty today. You're especially pretty today. Like, normally you're just normal pretty, but today I can tell you really dolled yourself up, and you're very pretty. Come on, Ricky. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Re- when you have finished recording, record you my message. Off. Hey, Ricky Gooch, call me back. It's very important. Uh, we're we're uh, thinking about um, you know maybe using you in Greece three. All right, bye. Don't try to understand that. That was stupid. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do the thing where I find another list and I down the rest of my Pepsi. I'll be right back. Okay, so wait, hold on. Um, I lied. We're not going to do a list of businesses. We're going to do a list of people. Uh, this is also from uh, Jim Brown, but this is um, stuff that people are selling. So it's actual classifieds. So that means these people are more likely to exist. Be real phone numbers. This guy's name is Savin Hare. Hi. The person you've reached is using a screening service from Google and oh, will yay. get a recording and transcript of this call. Go ahead and say why you're calling. Hey, I'm calling about your ad for the king bed. Thanks. Connecting you now. Yes. Hello. Hey, Sven. Yes. I was calling about that king bed. Oh. Were you the one that texted before? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Roy. Hmm, okay, that must have been a while ago. Yeah, a little bit. But okay. You know, it's been it's an old ad. 
Right. Is the bed suitable for homosexuals? Suitable for anything. Okay. Well, I mean, is it suitable for homosexuals to it's, sleep together? And it's, it's it's a standard king. Okay. Well, sir, I don't I don't want your homophobia coming out about this when when I'm trying to pay and you're like, oh, this is this is mine and my wife's bed, and I don't want no homosexuals sleeping in it and doing you know other things in it. Ugh. We don't want that. Well, I'm a, I'm a straightforward uh, cash and carry kind of a person. You're wh- where'd the word straight come from? Like that just kind of okay. appeared there in your description. I was, I'm a, a straightforward cash and carry businessman. Oh, I get it now. I just mean a direct. I'm a direct. Uh, yeah. Is it rated safe for sodomy by Consumer Reports? I don't know what it's rated, but uh, can you afford it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the 1400 Uh Since we're gay people, shouldn't it be a queen bed? I I have no idea. But uh, uh, if you're interested, uh, you know, uh, where are you located? Uh, you know where the Dairy Queen is? I mean, I'm, uh, I'm in the city street? of Ann Arbor. What's that? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And uh, is this? Are you calling on a cell phone? No. No, I'm on a. I'm on an internet line calling you from India. No, I'm kidding. I'm in Ann Arbor. Okay. Is this a landline or a cell phone? Oh, it's an internet line. It's definitely not a cell phone. Okay. All right. I just got the internet up to my ear. Okay. Have you ever heard of a terra firma line? No, I'm not familiar with that. But anyway, Neither. about the bed. What's your time frame the, about about buying the bed? Uh, when can you bring it over to us? Because I, I don't really want to drive out there. Just throw it in your truck well, and I, bring I, it over. I can't bring it. Why not? I, I don't have a transport for uh, a bed. They told me that you are a really disagreeable person. You're always disagreeing Who with people. That? Well, you know, just some people around the neighborhood, around your neighborhood. What neighborhood is that? Well, you know, around your neighborhood, because I called up some, a few random houses around your neighborhood and asked, and they're like, yeah, Savin, he's that really disagreeable person. Oh, you're well, always being a, disagreeable. Yeah. Well, I haven't spoken to uh, many of them in a long time, but uh, anyway. Are, are you disagreeing uh, with what okay. they say? Are you looking... No, uh, are you uh, are you uh, interested in uh, in uh, bringing the cash? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, by okay. cash, you mean a, a check, right? No cash. Oh, you won't take a check from us because we're okay. I get it. Yeah, yeah, we can do cash. Uh, I'm cash and carry kind of straight and narrow. A regular business run. Okay, regular and straight. But anyway. Are, are you looking to bring the cash over at, in the near uh, near oh, term? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely today, if I could. Uh, by cash, you mean Blumpkin, right? Cash? No, green bags. Green bags of Blumpkins. Green bags. B a c k s. Does the bed come with, uh, you know, like blankets and sheets and pillows? It comes with uh, not pillows, but. Uh, it comes with uh, the box spring and the mattress and sheets that go with it. Oh, do you but have any what's extra your time pillows? frame for? Yeah, no. But what time? What time frame are you looking at? Uh just today. The day before, you okay. know, before the evening, before dark. Do you have? Do you have transportation? Mm-hmm. You do. Okay. Yeah, but can, well, we can, can you just like you probably have a couple extra pillows around the house right can no can we just have a, none that i can give away well, why not like you're not using all your pillows I, you probably I have like can't. closet full no. of pillows no i don't have that can i and, look in your uh, closets but well i'm not at my closet this minute but uh, i know but can uh, i look what in your time closets? frame are you looking to come what time frame are you looking at before dark okay so uh, uh, is the bed set up okay. The bed is set up. Yeah, the, the photos are in the. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's got okay. the ma- ma- mattresses the, what, on what it. What time? Okay. What time? Uh, what time? Uh, what clock time are you looking at? Oh, clock time! I didn't know you meant that. Yeah. 
Um, let's see. Let me get on the weather site and see what before dark means. Got to type in Ann Arbor. Do you know what time sunset is? No. Uh, am I going to be able to jump on the bed when I get in there? Uh, no, you can put your hands on it, but... Uh, yeah, I want to jump on it. Like, if I'm going to buy it, I want to... Uh, I want to be able to jump no, on it. No, no. What if I give you half of the money and then I can jump on it for a little bit and then... Yeah, well, you want to give me 700 in cash? Oh, total for the whole bet? Okay. That sounds perfect. Seven, well, yeah, to jump on the other 700 you would have after you jump on it. Okay. How long can I jump on it? Once. Once for seven hundred dollars? Yeah. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound like a good deal. Can you do it's a fl- okay flame me. test on it real quick? A what test? A flame test. What is that? Uh just do you have some wooden matches? No. Can you no, just can't do that? Oh, you just strike those. No. Strike those I with your get going here. With, with your Somebody thumb on the side of the box. A, make them fly no, up in the air I'm, and land somebody, on the bed. Somebody's uh, signaling me to wrap this up just a minute. Who? Who okay. is it? Who is it? Okay. Is it a cop? It, yes. Anyway, okay. Are cop? you interested in, in seeing it with co- with uh, cash in hand, cash oh, and carry? Yes, definitely. Um, greenbacks. Okay. Uh, who's sig- right. Who is signaling okay. you? Who you, is it? I, Are you trying it, to tell me you're matter. in trouble? I, I got to get... Sh- should I yeah, call 911? Sort of, and, uh, no, uh, but uh, well, you're saying if you you're being cash, signaled, if you can carry it, but- Cash and carry. Sir, you're making and, this feel uh, like a hostage situation, good. and I'm very okay. worried no, for you. No, I, I got to run here. I, yes. Who is right. it? Tell me, All right. uh, tell me who it is okay. so I know it's uh, not nefarious. Uh, okay. No. I, I, anyway, I have, to, uh, I have to go here. Tell me if the kidnapper's to, uh, name. The cash, if you get the cash, tell me. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I got to run. I'm going to play, ho- I'm gonna play hopscotch ready, then, on your sidewalk. I, I got to run. No, I'm, I'm being signaled here. Like, Who's signaling you? Who's signaling you? <laughs> that was weird. He just wanted to be he was desperate to get rid of me. Okay. I didn't hate that call. Hello. Hey, Ron? Yes, yeah, speaking. Oh, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. I live down the road a little, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Whoa, um, what's happening? Oh, calm down. I'm not dying. I just had to cough. I'm smoking, oh, okay. <laughs> smoking a little weed, that's all. Um, I, I need to find out. Um, well, I, I just needed to let you know. I'm going to be at your house here in a little bit. Uh, me and a f- couple friends are going to be doing metal detecting in your yard. Well, uh, you know, <clears throat> probably not right now. Uh, it's not all that grand, and um, what's a green? What's a green? Well, I don't know if I want you. It, the, okay, okay. Well, hold on. The ground is soft. Yeah, perfect and, time. Yeah, well, I know it'd be a perfect time, but walking around also makes impressions. You know, it could mm-hmm. be soft enough to make a little bit of a mess. I suppose. I don't suppose I'd be up. I'd be taken by it if it was a. Uh, uh, you know, a little firmer, but just, I know it's perfect time for. I have a metal detector. Okay, I have a white. I have a metal detector. I know. And uh, I found a few things here and there. And nails oh, we're gonna find and more stuff. And, so on. and but, my friend Eddie, he's gonna be wearing cleats, but I'll make him stay on the driveway and just metal de- detect along the driveway. Only problem is when you recover, that's the thing. See, you plunge in, dig up, it's goosh, and it doesn't settle. It doesn't come back the way it should. Goosh, like from so, Greece too, right? What's that? Nothing. Um, yeah, but we're we're not saying we're gonna come right now. We're gonna be like about an hour because I gotta wait for Eddie well, to get no, here. Well, no, no, I'm not saying this is not the day. Not 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 a question of an hour. I, I really would prefer to have if you're gonna do any detecting. You know, um, I, I first of all I want to make sure that I'm up and down with that with my wife, and, uh, and I I don't think another day would be would be the thing to do. TMI, you know, sir. Trying to pr- pr- Prodding, prodding into the ground in the yard the way it is now is not the best. I mean, I've been out there myself. It's squish. Ooh. It's mud. Whoa. It's goop. Ooh. And, and so it's a lot easier to plunge into it. But, you know, what does it look like when you're finished digging down whatever you have oh, to do? Oh, it'll look good because uh, we'll just cover it back up and put the grass back you on know, top, and you'll never you notice know, the difference. 
Mm-hmm. They all say that, but anyway. They all? Like, Wait, how many people have metal detected in your yard? What have you found? What have you found recently? Anything interesting? Uh, you know, just coins and then nails and screws. And uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I found a cannonball once. Whoa, that, that sounds good. Yeah, I just threw that in the trash. Like, what am I going to do? No, I don't I, have a cannon. What am I going to do with it? I tend to, I tend to find shotgun shells. Uh, stuff uh, like you say, nails and screws, old wire. Well, once in a while, a coin. I've not found anything too too uh, fantastic. We have a good but, feeling about your your yard tonight. So, yeah, we're gonna be uh, just. Well, you know, we probably won't be there for more than a couple hours. We're just gonna cover the whole whoa, yard. Whoa, whoa, back up! And, Remember that. Wait, wait, back up. Remember, this is not the day. Doesn't matter if you're gonna be there for a couple of hours or five minutes. It's going to be another day, but it's not going to be today. We're That's not going to be there to after dark or anything. We're we're just going to be there for a couple hours today, and um, we've got some deep penetrating, you know, equipment here. We're going to really get down there, and you know, maybe there's something really deep underground. No, I don't think so. I I don't think I want you to do that. So yeah, well, maybe just, try another try another yard, but no, nah, leave mine off the map. Well, no, we we so. definitely want to do yours because we already done Mrs. Stuman's house. And, well, and fine, yours, fine. Yours. well, I don't think you want to try to come, so have a nice, have a nice day, another try someplace else, but uh, I wish you well. Can you, tell me, can you tell me how to pronounce your last name? Oh, Slobodnik. Slobodnik. Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask him about his coins. Uh, he was wanting to buy coins. Hello? Ma'am, I hear you breathing. You forgot to say hello. I'm calling about your fox fur jacket. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I heard you. I heard you like you br- you breathed in. You're like <gasps> You called me I, before. I'm in the middle of baking something, I'm gonna burn it. Okay, why so, well don't burn it. That's a stupid way to bake, you fucking idiot. Oh. Uh, um, so is that still available for twenty five dollars? Yeah, but don't call me names, okay? Oh, I didn't. Not... I, it's um, Tourette's. I can't really help it sometimes. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try not to do that. Okay, so it's not fox fur. You called before. It's I... faux fur. Oh, faux no. meaning fake. Well, fake fur. No, I, I think you're mistaken. It says right here in the ad, fox, F-A-U-X. No, uh, fox is F-O-X. F-A-U-X is French for fake. Okay, so what kind of, like, is, I know there's different types of foxes. Um, it's not like, a fox. It's false. It's fake fur and it's soft. Why would you sell something that's fake? Because that's what it is. It's it's you know uh, sometimes people drink milk. Sometimes they drink almond milk. You see, the almond milk is not real milk. It's almonds. So this is like Firefox, so, like those red foxes. No, no. no it's just. It's just uh, synthetic fur. You say synthetic. milk, like white, like like a. Okay, um, just forget about that. That was just an analogy. So, either you, are you interested in the jacket? Yeah, yeah. This is just the first time I've called, though. No, you called before. Actually, I are remember you. Are you sure? You remember the phone number, or you remember my voice? Your voice. I'm not the only person with this voice, ma'am. Okay. Well, you called it a fox last time. Yeah, but and I, you told me you weren't ever interested in it, which was odd to say. I bet you I, I, I was, um, ma'am, did you burn your cooking stuff yet? No, I didn't. What happened? I'm, I think you were so upset about that at first. and. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's close, though. Oh, yeah. like it's about to burn? Yes. When you first picked up, how come you didn't say anything? You didn't even say hello? Because I wanted to see, because a lot of people call with uh you know what do you call telemarketing oh no that's not me i don't do telemarketing ma'am yeah i'm not saying you are i I I live yeah yeah, i live here in the middle of like three things with flowery hands you know oh so So. you got flour all over your phone uh yeah kind (laughs) of i was rolling a pie crust i got you i got flour everywhere oh no but i'm doing it yeah for a birthday so for somebody well that's weird that's like if someone was knocking on your door and Instead of opening the door and saying hi, uh, you just like you're just like creeping around the door and pretending you're not home and like putting your ear up to the door. 
That was that was. Anyway, cr- did it you was want cr- the jacket? Oh Are yeah, you the jacket. Yeah, definitely. As long as it's the right kind of fox fur, but it, it's um, I'm I'm just saying it like sound it, like it is. The, the, way, look, look, look. the the way that you answered the phone, ma'am, was super fucking creepy. Okay, well, I have to go because I gotta I gotta get this this birthday treat together. So oh, whose bir- who's, whose birthday is it? Brother-in-law. Oh, what's his name? Oh, thank you. What's his name? Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, I have to go. Thank you are so you much write, for calling. Are, are you going to write on the cake? No, it's it's a treat. It's a it's not a cake. Okay, I gotta go. Bye okay. bye. What time thank should you. I come by? Thank what's you. your address? I want the fox fur. Okay. Okay. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> um, Jim Brown. Uh, he sent me other an, an, another list of um, you know, classified. So I'm guessing that she was in that one too trying to sell her fox fur so i probably did call her what the fuck's a birthday treat is that for a dog it's not a cake what the fuck is it i want to call her back and like come on you left out some important information i bet you the cake exploded as soon as we hung up is anybody else going live today i'm about ready to quit uh but you know if there's somebody else gonna go on then i'm sorry the party you are trying to reach has not set up voicemail oh, on Two, three, one, oh, hey, hey, nine. Stop it, stop it. Looks like Dial Trolls is on. Maybe I'll just leave and I'll send you to Dial Trolls. Yeah, where the fuck's XYZ? It's, he's, he's seven minutes late. Hello? Hey, I was calling for Joan. Pardon? I was calling for Joan. Well, Joan's not here. Okay, can you pass along a message? Yeah, I can. Okay, uh, I'm calling from the comptroller's office here in Northville. Yeah. And the mayor of Northville, um, he wants me to call and let Joan know that he does not like her. Okay. Yeah, just let... I'll carry the message. Okay, yeah, just let her know that um, he does not like her. It's the, it's the mayor of Northville. Okay. Does she know the mayor? His name's Brian. Yeah, Brian? Yeah, Brian Trumbull. Yeah. Yeah, he does not like her. He's handsome, isn't he? Why not? Oh, I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't like her. He just he came into my office and said, you call up this lady and let her know I do not like her. Okay. Is, is she, uh, like, hard to deal with, or... Well, see, I'm I'm not at home right now. I'm at a gas station. Oh. Um, what are you doing at a gas station? Getting gas. Well, are you getting chips and sodas and stuff? Candy? What's that? Are you getting candy? Are you getting any candy and chips? No. What octane level are you doing? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, doesn't it say on the, the big yellow buttons? Nope. Okay. All right. Can you repeat the message to me? The mayor wanted to make sure that you have it right. Tell Joan that the mayor of what town? Uh, North. Northville don't like her. Yeah. He don't like her. Yeah, did not like her one bit. Are there any other customers out there by you? Can I talk to him real quick? There's a lot of them. Can I talk to one real quick? No. Uh, did you know your timing belt's going out? What's, oh, that was... Okay, he hung up. Sorry, Tim Riggie. I tried to tell him about the timing belt. He wasn't that disagreeable. Mean. He's going to pass along the message. I hope he doesn't forget. Oh, hey, one, Henry speaking. Hey there, Henry. Are you home? Where are you? I was knocking on your door. What? Who's that? This is Roy from down down the street. Roy from down the street. Where are you at? I'm home. I'm at my office. Oh, you just said you were uh, not home. I'm not home. I'm at my office. Is your office in your home? 
No, who is this? I don't know. I thought you were being a smart ass. But I'm calling from Royco Roofing. We're doing your roof today. That's what I was trying to get you're at. Not doing my roof. Oh no, we are. We're on your roof right now, and we're gonna be tearing it off and putting the new roof on. And I was just trying to ask you. Hey, you're, it, you got the wrong number, brother. Oh, I don't think so. In Traverse City. I mean, uh, yeah, Traverse City. I'm not having a roof done. Well, we're on your roof right now. Which yeah. adri- which address are you? What's the address are you? Oh, now it sounds like like you're trying to be sketchy. Like, exactly. are, is, is this really even uh, Mr. Emmett? This is Mr. Houston at Tree Service. And you have an office. I have three of them. Look, Barbara ordered the roof. So, Barbara who? Uh, so maybe it's just none of your business. I'm sorry. Ashley ordered the roof. I'm getting my orders messed up. Calm down. Ashley Sheets. We have it right here with the full address, and we're up here pulling the shingles off first. Uh, Chief, I don't know who the hell you're trying to get a hold of. Uh, well, listen here, Buster. I'm trying to get a hold of Ashley Sheets. Is she available? Buster, that ain't me. Is, oh, she's not there. Ask- there you- Hello? <laughs> You could pick back up. I still hear it on <laughs> online. Sir? You guys hear it buzzing? It's buzzing. Ah, there he goes. Oh, well. He called me Chief. I kept getting him confused with Barbara. I really want to do one of those uh, Royco roofing calls that I used to do occasionally, uh, where the person would be at their office. They're like, holy shit, I better run home and say something to these roofers. If, if they would have picked up, I mean, that was two calls ago. Oh, oh hello, Deborah. Uh, no, you've got the wrong number. Oh, no. Like, you're, weren't you selling the snowblower? Um, yeah, we, we had a snowblower. For sale. But it says Deborah on here. Uh, no, it says Mary. Uh, it's probably uh, Jim Brown's fault. Probably wrote the wrong one on there. No. But, I, I think he sold all of them that he wants to sell. So. Yeah, well, listen, ma'am. I'm, I'm calling from the uh, classified ads department, mm-hmm. and we know what snowblower means. We know you're... You're actually selling dirty items on our services, and you're not supposed to do that. Uh, I I don't have anything for sale. I know, but like you have these snowblowers for two hundred and fifty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we know what that means. We we know what mm-hmm. your husband's pedaling over there. I'm pedaling. Mm-hmm. We're 80 years old, and I don't know where you're coming from. My husband's 86, and I'm 80, and we're not peddling anything. We had some snowblowers to sell. Why'd you say he was 80 if he's 86? Pardon? Why'd you say he was 80 if he's 86? I said we're in our 80s. No, no, no. You said we're both 80 years old. <laughs> this is the show where I just call up people and I argue with them. Why not? Here's a trailer hitch. It fits a 1990 Dodge full size pickup. But nothing else. Just that. Hello? Hey, I was calling for Amy. Uh, you must have the wrong number. This uh, is 87821. Well, that was dumb to give out your, your number while we're on the air. I was calling about the trailer hitch. Yeah. Is that still available? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, is, does it only fit Dodges, or are you just using that as an example of what it will fit? That's what it came off was a Dodge. But I have a Ford. Okay. Well. Well, hey, I don't don't get nice... all judgmental on me just because I have a Ford. Don't be like that about it. Come on. Oh man, I didn't want him to hang up. Hello. Hey. Hey. What are you doing over there? 
Nothing. What are you doing over there? Well, I don't know. You're being a little bit loud is what I'm saying. I know. I like being loud. Okay. Why don't you knock it off? Um, do you have well, that I'll try next week. Proform 450? Proform 450? I don't know. You don't know if you have that? No, I don't think so. You don't know if you still have the $175 item you're selling? What are you, stupid or something? That was my fault. Not even trying anymore. I lost his number. Like, I, I lost... I, I was scrolling around, and then he picked up, and I didn't know what to do. And I'm sorry, everybody. I don't think we're going to have any more calls. We only have seven minutes. What do we do? What do we do? This is Rita. Hi, Rita. Rita? Yes. Hey, this is uh, Steve Dave from AT&T Wireless. We're changing your phone number today, and I'm calling to give you your new phone number. What? Uh, We're changing your phone number, this 8633 number. We're going to be changing that. Mm -hmm. Why are you changing the accent for Brian? I work for the office. Ma'am, can you tell that lady in the background to please be quiet? I can't hear you. Hi. We are trying to email. I don't know. Who are you? Uh, this is Steve Dave from AT&T Wireless. We're changing your phone number today. Sounds like a scam to me. Oh, what's the scam part? Because I'm just changing your phone number. We're not char- Why would you change it? You, we're not going to be charging you for the phone number change. I'm just trying to give you your new phone number. No, you're not going to change my phone number. Oh, Sorry. no, it's changing right now. It's thing. changing, ma'am. No, I'm not, I'm Listen not going here, to buddy. change my There's, phone number. I'm not asking you if you want your number changed. I'm letting you know we're changing it. I would like to have your manager's phone number, please, and name. I'm not giving you my manager's phone number. I'm trying to Why give you your not? new phone number. I don't need my new phone number. I will have a, I will well, your mine. old one's not going to work your, anymore. This eight, I need your manager, This 8633 number, it's not going to work anymore. We're changing it to a disconnected line. Why would you do that? Just because we want to. Yeah. No, that's, that's not the reason. Because you, you just... She made me mad with all that accusations and stuff. Now I don't know where I am on my list. There you go, F in reality. I hope everyone had a good time today. I did. I didn't try very hard on that one, F in reality. I'm sorry. I could have made myself more believable. Next, you're going to be listening to Dial Trolls. Hello. Oh, hi. Irene? Yes. Yeah, you know that indoor yard sale you had? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, well, it wasn't that long ago. Like, what do you consider a long time? A uh, couple of months. Mm. I was, I was uh, wandering around off-limits areas while I was there. You know, just kind of wandering into rooms and. Yes. Nobody caught me. I was just wandering around looking for stuff. Stole stole some toilet paper. I just wanted to apologize for that. Yeah, right. What do you mean, yeah, right? Are you driving and uh, talking on the phone? Do you have your phone up to your ear? I am driving, yes. Okay, you don't have your no, phone. No, I do not have my phone to my ear. That is against the law. Okay, well, you sound like a lawbreaker to me. Oh, kiss it, my ass. Are you sure you're Goodbye. not doing that? Because I can tell. I can tell when people don't have a Bluetooth. There, the very last two minutes of the show, she told me to kiss her ass. I think that means I just have to end it. It's time for me to go, everybody. Thanks for listening. Listen to Dial Trolls, though. He's funny sometimes he's not being a dick bye everybody hi brad it's nick from cape coral florida and i love the snowplow show hey nick. keep on rocking man keep on with the prank calls i will with the prank calls i'm not allowed to rock i'm a christian christians don't rock you know it's against the rules of the bible you gotta you gotta pinch you gotta pinch the pee hole and make it go yeah. yeah, I remember that Corbin guy from the good old days of Carlito. He was always pinching his pee hole.
Hey, Brad, this is Robert from South Dakota. Hey. And I'm just calling to let you know that the last episode, 832, Bruno is the good boy. Holy cow. That had me cracking up laughing, dude. I listened mm. to that whole episode front to back twice in a row. Good. I was gut laughing. Even the it voicemails? Great. Thank you so much. Every time. I bet you didn't listen to the voicemails twice. Hey, Brad, uh, this is Boga calling, man. Hey, Brad. Uh, just wanted to reminisce about a funny call from Carlito. You know, everyone misses Carlito, but where's all the funny, you know, memories? Uh, Didn't you just hear the pee hole voicemail from Corbin guy? Weren't you listening? There's this one time Carlito calling a, <laughs> trying to call Little Caesars mm-hmm. and asking them if they could hold like a hot and ready pizza for him. And, uh, fuck, what I'm going to edit out all your really, really long pauses in between every couple words. Happened. Oh, oh, oh. He's like demanding that they hold a hot and ready So it's only going to be unbearable for me, not for everybody else. They'll have no idea the work that went into editing your voicemail. They're like, you know, why don't you just order a pizza? And he's like, oh, you know, I'm on my way. I got to get in the shower. I'll be be there in like 40 minutes. They're like, you know, why don't you just order a pizza, man? He's like, no, hot and ready. That's the deal. And they hung up on him. It was (laughs) fucking hilarious. What episode? (laughs) I don't know. Just a... Hilarious Carlito prank call. That's the, those Carlito. were the days you made me feel like I was there. Well, hello there, Bradley. Hello. You could say I've been a big fan of yours since before you were born. Oh, shit. Why, it wouldn't be a stretch to say I'm the Darth Plagueis to your Anakin Skywalker. Okay. That's why I made you more of a Trekkie, so you wouldn't catch up. Well, I could go into details about... The manipulation of the cosmos and the separation of the forces of life and death. Uh Uh-huh. But let's just say the plan was always to put the phone in your hand. Ooh, mysterious. I'm so intrigued. Hey, Bradley. Hey. How you doing? I'm okay. This is Justin from Western Lockies. Okay. And I just wanted to tell you that I I put a uh, NFT of the voicemail. Up on the open sea. Oh no! And yeah, sometimes that, sometimes voicemails can get up to fifty-three dollars. <laughs> I've forgotten all about NFTs. I don't even know how they work anymore. Oh, and uh, you know, uh, so you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we will. Uh, and sorry see about how. that. Sorry for putting the voicemail. It goes. Okay, bye, Justin. Hey, it's Shane again, and I'm sorry for acting so mean last time it's okay um i'm from kansas i've forgotten about it already i don't know what you're talking about and i just think that uh you should be nicer to people okay stop being so mean to your callers man you know what you Fuck act you. like an asshole sometimes i know ain't very nice okay anyways love you bye all right one last voicemail hey, uh first time caller long time listener I was just wondering if you have any tips. Do you know, also, do you know the legality of making people in a hotel do crazy shit? Like, can I just call up, like, the Days in and have them, like, you know, uh, uh, you know, moisten their shower with the shampoo for the daily ritual? I don't know. Like, what's the legality behind that? Because I mean? want to make people do crazy shit, but I don't want to go behind bars for it. I mean, a felon like you would know, right? I don't know. Not really. Can you help me out? Bye. That's not what I did to become a felon. But just don't be damaging anything and don't cause any panics that'll make people go, oh my God, and call the police. Don't make them bust out their windows. It's been done already. We don't need to see that again. Okay, the show is over. Thanks. Matt Chu, Half Alpha, Christine Brennan, and ZTK. Those are a few of the supporters over on Patreon.com who help keep the show going. This show and the other shows that I do. Thanks everybody for supporting the show. Pick up the goddamn phone, Steve. How the hell with you, Steve? Go back where you came from, you whore. I am not a shorthand and I am not a secretary.